What's up, fellas? So I got a guy that wanted to know, uh, should he mention the other women he dating to raise the interest of a woman? Guys, don't nothing drive a woman pussy up faster than a dude trying to sell himself or make himself seem high value, all right? You let your actions show a woman your high value, not talking about how high value is. When you're trying to talk about other women you're dating or how much money you're making and stuff like that, you're trying to sell yourself, all right? Trying to sell yourself, you subconsciously just told a woman, you're out my lead, so let me show you why you should give me a chance, your highness, all right? When you go on a date, guys, actually, if the woman asks you about, you know, so I bet you make a lot of money, huh? You put to say something to the effect of, well, I get by, you know, I, I make a living. I get by. You want to downplay things, all right? You don't want to over-exaggerate and talk about, oh, yeah, man, I'm finna buy a house in the Bahamas. Yeah, Guys, you never do shit like that. You never talk about the other women you're dating and things like that right there. But woman asks you, so I bet the girls go crazy. And this is something that I've gotten all my life. So I bet all the girls are crazy about you. Even when I'm doing online uh, dating and stuff like that, the girls will be like, so you having fun on here, huh? I like, I don't even hear. Now, when I'm on a date and the girls uh, say something like that, I'll say something like, I'm dating, but nothing crazy. All right, I downplay it, all right? I don't want to try to sell myself. I don't need to sell myself. I'm good enough as ill. I don't need to sell myself to you, bitch. That's the bottom line, guys. Now, to get this woman to know you're dating other women, guess what you gotta do? Just not take her bullshit. See guys, this is the epitome of what shit test is. You don't have to talk about other women you're dating to show women that you're dating other women. The fact that you don't take their shit lets them know you're dating other women, all right? Guys who are thirsty, guys who are not getting ass, they go up and show up on a date and they be nice and they don't want to ruffle no feathers and things like that because they trying to stay on the girl's good side. Why? Because they ain't getting no ass. So they want to try to be nice. They want to be buddy-buddy. Guys who got four or five women they fucking, anything the girl come on a date now like a little bitch or anything the guy going to check. Why? He don't give a fuck. All right? he, don't, he don't give a fuck. If you ever uh, see a rich man gambling at the casino and he'll bet $10,000 a hand because he's a fucking billionaire. He don't give a fuck about that little $10,000. That's why. And the same thing happens with guys who are getting ass. They don't take shit, women's shit. So if you want a woman to know you're dating other bitches, just don't take her fucking shit, all right? That's all, guys. Just don't act fucking thirsty. That's the bottom fucking line. That's all it takes for a woman to know you're getting ass. And this is another thing. When I say y'all guys go on these dates and you trying to, you know, touch and stuff like that, guys who getting ass, they don't, they don't do all that. That's like a little horny teenager that ain't had no ass in, in fucking two years or some shit. Or look, a virgin teenager trying to grab all on the girl and touch on her ass and shit. That shit I did in the, four, uh, the eighth grade and bullshit, guys. All right, now that I'm getting ass and shit, I don't be on a date trying to touch her and can't keep my hands off her like I ain't had no ass in 10 years or some bullshit. All right, this is why I tell you, keep your hands to yourself. You're carrying yourself like a high-value male. High-value males that's getting ass, they don't do all that. All right, that's almost acting thirsty. That's almost acting like you don't get ass when you go to trying to touch on a girl and do all this, that, and other. That's why I tell y'all guys that. It's, I'm trying to show y'all guys how high value males act. And y'all guys will see as y'all get more on y'all purpose and y'all start dating more women, y'all gonna start seeing that some of the shit I say is the absolute truth. You'll start nosing. Damn, AMS one line when he said, now that I'm, you know, got me a rotation of shit, I don't be trying to touch these girls or uh, talking about, you know, how much money I got and it's easy for me to check their ass on the date. Yeah, that's what happens when you get an abundance mindset and you got other bitches. You don't worry about losing one, all right? That's the thing, guys. And you'll see, everything I'm saying, as you guys get more on your purpose, you get more accomplished in your life, and you build you a more steady rotation, you'll see everything I say about wait a week to call a bitch, you ain't going to give a fuck. Passing shit test, you ain't going to give a fuck. The women going to see that, and they going to be like, wow, he must be dating other women. That's why he don't take my shit. All right? So that's how you let women know you dating other women, guys. You just simply stand up for yourself. And I had another guy that had a, um, he, he, he got back with his ex. Him and his ex broke up, and they got back together. And the ex was saying, well, he don't validate her no more and stuff like that. So, guys, what does this mean? He's, now, he, he done started watching my channel now. 
And so he don't validate her and all this shit. And she, and she told him, you don't compliment me no more and all this other bullshit. So what does that mean, guys? That lets me know that she's still not in a submissive state. All right. That lets me know that she still thinks she has power in the relationship. So what does that mean? That means that he just took this bitch back without making her submit. Guys, here's the thing. If you and your girl break up or have a little separation and she call you back and you don't make her submit, you just take her back. You just happen to have her back and you don't make her submit. The same things that broke y'all up the first time going to happen again. The relationship don't work unless somebody's submissive to somebody. Yeah, all right, so either you got to be submissive to her or she going to be submissive to you. It don't work if both of us right here. Somebody got to submit to the other person, all right? So you ain't did nothing. You just you just did the uh, prolonged inevitable. Y'all going to break up again, all right, because you just took her back. Whenever you break up with a girl, uh, guys, or something, whatever y'all break up, always when she call you back, you know not to call her. Whenever she call you back, always say, how you going to make this up to me, all right? If she ain't willing to do nothing, y'all not getting back together, all right? That's the bottom fucking line, all right? She's still not in a submissive state. She still don't look at you as the king. She still look at you as an equal. Y'all can't be no motherfucking equal. Somebody got to be the king and somebody got to be the queen. We can't both be here, all right? The relationship don't work. Women pussy get wetter when they are submitting to a dude, all right? For all you guys out there that's, you know, tell my son, my girl, you know, I my girl, uh, I want to please my girl in the bedroom and this, that, and the other and how I become good in bed. You want to become good in bed? Get your woman submissive to you, all right? Get your woman to submit to you, all right? When a woman is with a man that's dominant, and when I say dominant, I mean masculine, like he's the leader and I follow him. When she's opening her legs to you, she's going to have more emotion because she's submitted to you, all right? So for all you guys... Outside of the foreplay and all, all that other bullshit, that's the best way to get a woman to be, that's the best way to be good with a woman in bed. When she's in a submissive state, not just physically, but mentally. This woman is not asking you why you don't validate her. That's almost sound like she still thinks she got something to talk about. Bitch, I, bitch get out and kiss my feet right now. You don't got, listen, you don't got no say in this. Guys, listen here. But the whole point of alpha male scratches, guys, is I'm trying to get y'all with an abundance mindset. What an abundance mindset means? That means that if you and your girl break up and she call you back, maybe she's not willing to submit to you. But we don't get back together unless you do. All right, that's what I'm saying, guys. That means that I'm willing to walk away if I don't get what I want. It don't mean that, fuck that shit AMS talking about, man, I ain't finna lose my pussy. That's not an abundance mindset, and that's not an alpha male mindset. That is a fucking beta male mindset, and that is a scarcity mindset, all right? So going forward, guys, when you and your girl have a break, or if you're dealing with a girl right now that's not in a submissive state to you, and you could, she's just not submissive to you at all, you might want to leave that and wait for her to call you back. Maybe she never call you back. So that's, that's what scares you motherfuckers, all right? The girl might not never call you back. And I'll tell you that, that might be true. But here's the thing. If a woman is not submissive to you, the relationship don't work, and it's not that good to begin with. Even the sex can't be that good, all right? As soon as you get your woman submissive to you, watch how she start orgasming, all right? Submissive to you means that she knows that you have the ability to walk away and she don't do what you want her to do. That's what. That's how you get a woman to be submissive to you, all right? This bitch telling me something, he don't validate her no more. She's still demanding something. Does that sound submissive to you? Don't sound submissive to me. Sound like she's still making demands, all right? When a bitch is submissive to you, she don't got nothing to say about nothing, all right? Don't say nothing. Don't say we watch on TV. Don't say we're going out to eat. You follow me. That's how it goes, guys, all right? That's how it goes. So don't never take the bitch. Always ask them how you're willing to make this up to me. And see what she say. Now me, y'all know what I like. You know, I tell a girl she got to do. But maybe y'all don't like to get y'all ass licked. Tell that bitch she going to have to suck a whole lot of dick. I'm talking about all night long for two weeks. All right? She got to make that shit and cook you dinner. All right? When you, and I'm going to tell y'all guys something like this, man. Y'all guys might think that's evil and crazy and this, that, and the other. That'll actually make the woman fall more in love with you, all right? Because that's what a woman is looking for. That's Y'all want to know why women are so bitchy and so masculine? Because they can't find a man that got the balls to make them submit. They want a fucking man that says, bitch, you going to do what the fuck I want you to do or your ass can walk. 
That's what women want. That's why they all so fucking bitchy in there. Because they can't find a fucking man for the life of them that can say, bitch, you're going to suck these balls all night or you can get the fuck out of here. That's what the women want, but they can't find it. That's why they always so bitchy. They like, what a real masculine man at? What a real masculine man at? And when I'm talking about masculine, I'm talking about, bitch, I can be alone, and if you're not going to do what I want, every man's a fucking beta cuck now. Every man is just happy to have a girl. Every man is just happy to fuck a bitch. It is sad, and it's sickening. All right, every relationship, the woman is unhappy or she's bitchy because she does shit that she knows the man should break up with her for or leave her for, and he just stays there and he argue with her like a bitch. And she's like, why is this dude arguing with me when he should just break up with me, but the dude can't break up with her because he has a fucking scarcity mindset and scared he ain't gonna get no ass for two more years. All right, and that's why all the women are fucking bitchy. That's why when you know y'all guys talk about this feminism, this feminism, that, what about fucking y'all motherfuckers acting like beta cooks and when women go to doing this shit, you don't make them submit? Everything, uh, feminism, feminism, social media, social media. How about fucking beta cuck dudes that ain't got the ability to walk away? All right, guys, so that's the issue with that, man. When you break up with a girl, guys, always make sure she come back in a submissive state. Never fucking just take her back or you're going to get shit like this. She's going to be coming back into the relationship making demands. You know, you don't take me out like you used to. You don't do this like you used to. She's still making fucking demands. All right, that's not submissive. All right, you just took her back. All right, but getting back to the first topic, guys, uh, you never talk about other women to raise women interest. Your confidence, your swagger, your ability to not take her bullshit on date, that's all, listen, that let a woman know how many women you dating right there. All right, the fact that, you know, when she tried, when you tried to set up a date and she didn't set up a date, and she had to hit you back in two or three weeks to ask you how you're doing to get you to go on a date. That let her know you're dealing with other women. This is how you let women know you're dealing with other women. All right? You know, I did the video yesterday, and I was talking about never delete women numbers. Some guys, women have strategies too. Uh, y'all sitting on here watching alpha male strategies. Women got books and techniques too. I'm teaching y'all techniques. Women got techniques to find out how high value you is. All right? Some women will give you their fucking number. You call to set up a date, they won't set up a date. See if you're going to call them again. See if you're going to text them again. See how many times, you know, see see you know, see you know, how high value is. If you don't call back, she hit you in a month. Why? Because she probably hot. She probably got a lot of options. She only want a true alpha male. It's amazing. You know, y'all guys over here watching alpha male strategies, and y'all just think women are walking around, oh, gee, golly, Susan, what do you want to do today? Well, I don't know, Katie. What do you want to do today? Like, y'all just think women are stupid or something. They have strategies, too. All right? They have, I'm giving y'all alpha male strategies to, you know, show you alpha males. They have strategies to weed out the fucking beta males that's trying to be fake alpha males. All right? They have strategies, too, guys. All right? So if you meet a real bad bitch, you might call her, and her strategy is to not go on a date with you. And if you don't, if you don't, you know, call her again or text her again, she might hit you up in a month because you show alpha male qualities. Those are the only dudes she probably want to fuck with. They have strategies too, guys. They have strategies to weed y'all fucking weak beta cooks the fuck out their face. All right? Guys who are alpha males and shit like that, they don't go deleting numbers and blocking numbers and, oh, gee, what are you going to date? They have strategies too. All right? They have strategies too. So, one thing you don't want to do is go on these fucking dates and talk about other women. You don't have to. All right? Your confidence, your swagger, your ability to walk away, your non-thirsty state. You on a date, you you like this. You chilling. You cool. Get some silence in the date. I'm cool, man. Guys who don't get late. Oh, so uh, soon as they get a little silence. Oh, so uh, uh, where you like to go to vacation? Uh, it, any little silence, they get a little nervous, thinking like they losing a the girl. Any little, any little quiet and date, that woman know you ain't getting no ass. Guys who get ass, a little silence at the date, I'm all right. I ain't got to interject in every second. I hear a little quietest, feel like, oh, she losing interest. I got to say something, no matter how stupid it is. That's how you let women know you dating other women, not by talking about it, all right? As a matter of fact, downplay it. Now, I'm dating, but, you know, nothing crazy. All right, that's how you do that, guys. All right, guys, I ain't going to prolong this. Like the video. Comment down below what y'all guys want to see next. Holla back.